2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV review, bigger on the inside. Everyone is getting in on the EV game, and while luxury automakers have been a bit slow to make their presence known in this emerging market, they are making a huge splash right now. Mercedes has released an entire EQ range to mirror its gas lineup. Like almost every other model, the 2023 EQE SUV is brand new. It competes in the mid-size luxury segment with the likes of the BMW 9 and Audi e-tron, but has just 288 horsepower to work with in entry-level guys, although the EQE 500 has a much more useful 402 horsepower on tap. It employs similar styling elements to the rest of the EQ range, including the EQE and EQS sedans, to which it is related. As such, you can expect a plush suspension setup, available for Matic all-wheel drive, and all the latest tech. But is more of the same with a bit of electrification going to be enough for the Mercedes-Benz EQE sub to stand up against more innovative EV startups? 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE sub changes, what's the difference vs the 2022 EQE sub? The new Mercedes-Benz EQE sub joins the growing electric market in the USA as a part of the German automaker's range of EQ models, slotting between the EQB and EQS. It is available as rear-wheel or all-wheel drive and comes inclusive of almost all the latest tech available to Mercedes. The overall range of 279 miles is far from class-leading, but it's not bad either. Pros and Cons More space than the EQE sedan Luxurious, quiet cabin. Exceptional ride quality. Impressive list of standard tech. Reasonable driving range. Not as quick or fun as the competition. Subpar cargo capacity. Many rivals can go further on a charge. What's the price of the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV? The starting price of a new 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV is quite high at $77,900, but this is par for the course with luxury EVs. What is surprising, though, is that both the regular 350 Plus with RWD and the 354 Matic with AWD cost the exact same. Only the 500 for Matic is more expensive, at $89,500. These prices are for the base premium subtrims, upgrading to the exclusive subtrim on any model adds $2,100 to the bill, while the pinnacle increases this to $5,750. These prices for the Mercedes-Benz EQE sub are MSRP and do not include tax, registration, or the $1,150 destination charge. 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE sub handling and driving impressions. Mercedes has never gone too seriously for high performance on its mainstream models, instead preferring to focus on comfort, luxury, and drivability. This ethos seems to hold true for the EQE SUV. That is not to say it can't be a pleasure to drive, especially if you opt for the more powerful 500 for Matic, but there is not a whole lot of feeling or engagement. The steering is well-weighted for a heavy SUV, which gives you the confidence to hustle it, though it doesn't really appreciate it and doesn't feel at ease attacking corners. However, its ride quality is unquestionable, with even large bumps in the road unable to upset the cabin. And combining this placid character with the totally silent drivetrain might be enough to convince some passengers that they aren't moving at all. At least, that would be the case if Mercedes didn't insist on injecting some fake sounds for the lack of engine noise. Thankfully it isn't just some synthetic rumbling but rather a selection of sound effects that could be described as either serenely natural or blatantly extroverted. Verdict, is the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE sub a good SUV? The 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE sub is the result of years of work by one of the world's most accomplished automakers, so it shouldn't come as a shock that it's an excellent vehicle. However, this isn't a segment that the German brand has had a century to master, an earlier entrance to the market or those who have started up with nothing but EVs in mind are proving to be extremely stiff competition. Lucid, for example, has set out to be the benchmark by which we judge all luxury EVs. 
Nevertheless, Mercedes has made a solid first attempt with its line of EQ vehicles, which lean on that century of experience to deliver mastercrafted cabins, stylish looks, and an understanding of what buyers are looking for in terms of comforts and features. Filling out the line between the entry-level EQB and flagship EQS, the EQE works as a seamlessly powerful and comfortable family hauler that will make a significant statement as you shift from gas-powered cars to what will inevitably be the future of the automotive industry. What 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV model should I buy? It can come as a surprise when you first review the Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV lineup since there are now subtrends that we have not seen in other models. There is little reason not to opt for the 354 Matic since it costs the same as the base model and gives you the added grip and confidence that comes with AWD. You also benefit from better low-down acceleration with its increased torque output. Considering this is not a car meant to be driven fast and loose, there isn't a pressing need to upgrade to the 500 for Matic. As for the new sub trims, even the base level premium gives you a lot to work with, but the additional driver assists in the exclusive are appealing to those that want to best enjoy the laid-back luxury nature of this electric cruiser. 2023 EQE Sub Performance While it may be true that Mercedes doesn't place too much emphasis on going fast or taking corners with gusto, the Mercedes EQE Sub still has some decent 0-60 to 60 miles per hour times. The base rear-wheel drive model dispatches this benchmark in 6.3 seconds, while the all-wheel drive 354 Matic does so in 6.2 seconds. Meanwhile, the more potent 500 for Matic can hit 60 miles per hour in just 4.6 seconds. This is just a little slower than the BMW 9 X Drive 50. The top speed on every model is limited to 130 miles per hour. Highway driving is effortless, and the hefty SUV accelerates easily enough to pass most cars on the road, though its primary competitors are speedier. Mercedes provides no official tow figure for the base RWD EQE 350 Plus, trailering is on the cards for the two AWD models, which are both rated to tow 3,500 pounds. Engine and Transmission the EQE 350 Plus is the only model to come standard with rear-wheel drive since it has just a single motor making 288 horsepower and 417 pound-foot of torque. With an extra motor added on the Mercedes EQE 354 Matic, AWD is unlocked, and while horsepower stays the same, torque is bumped up to 564 pound-foot, at the top of the lineup is the 500 for Matic, which also gets two motors and AWD, but it boasts far more impressive outputs of 402 horsepower and 633 pound-foot. Standard single-speed reduction gearing is standard across the board, as it is with most electric vehicles. 2023 EQE Sub Gas Mileage Every Mercedes EQE Sub comes equipped with a 90.6 kWh battery, but each powertrain has a different level of drain, and the models get heavier as you move up, thus affecting the expected maximum range. Starting with the RWD 350 Plus, you should be able to get 279 miles to a full charge, according to Mercedes. Meanwhile, the 354 Matic is rated at 253 miles, and, oddly, the 500 for Matic can achieve 269 miles. Unfortunately, there were no EPA estimates to compare these to at the time of writing. As for charging, the automaker says that a 240V wall box can fully charge the battery in around 9.5 hours, while a DC fast charger can get you from 10% to 80% in just 32 minutes. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.